Hey, our vacationers. We took the time to look at all the lighthouses while we were on the Outer Banks. We went up north and saw the Currituck Beach Lighthouse. It's at the northernmost point of the Outer Banks. Then we went to the southernmost point to Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. And it's just before you get to the ferry for Ocracoke Island. So we took the ferry over to Ocracoke and saw the lighthouse there. That's the first stop on the little shuttle bus that you get for free. You can hop on and hop off the golf carts and they'll escort you around town. And then we drove over to the Roanoke Island and saw the Roanoke Marshes Lighthouse. And then uh, Body Island, we had to figure out whether it's called Bodie or Body, but it's called Body Island Lighthouse. So y'all come along with us and explore the beautiful island of Outer Banks and we'll do some more fun stuff while we're on the island. Hi, I'm Wayne. And I'm Norma from Our Vacationer. Follow us as we travel in our motorhome in Jeep Cherokee. Subscribe and click the notification bell. We found the Currituck Lighthouse on the northern end of the Outer Banks. It was free to park, free to get into the grounds, but it was $10 to climb up to the top. It was 220 steps to the top and it was about 220 degrees. So we decided not to, not to climb this particular lighthouse, but it was a beautiful lighthouse, well maintained and the grounds were beautiful. While we were on the north end of the island, we took the time to eat at a place called Mama Easley's and it was located in a shopping area called Timbuktu. And so we had a nice lunch, took a break cooled off a little bit and continued on with our lighthouse tour. Here's the duck water tower. That's where all the ducks get their water from. Here's the duck coolers. Yep. Good duck sign. Circle driveway. Find you a little parking spot like that motorhome deal right there. The overflow parking, park on the grass. Good Thank grief. You. Look at the people here. That is called Body, B O D I E, Island Beach Lighthouse. Body Island Lighthouse. We found this lighthouse about halfway down the islands. If you come across to the islands on Highway 158 and go south, stay on 158, you get to the Oregon Inlet, and this lighthouse was in that area. Beautiful grounds, wide open space. You could actually walk out in the marsh and look back towards the lighthouse as if you were out in the ocean and, and see the, the view from the perspective of the uh, ships. see it from miles and miles and miles away but now that we're up here close to it we can't see it there it comes oh there it is see it i see it can you find the lighthouse i see the lighthouse peekaboo it's gone where's the lighthouse peekaboo there it is Where's the lighthouse? There's a sign here that says Lighthouse Beach Parking, Old Lighthouse Site. Where's the lighthouse? Peekaboo, there it is. I hope you're sending this to the grandbabies. Where's the lighthouse? I see a sign. I see a sign that there might be a lighthouse somewhere. Peekaboo! There it is. Cape Hatteras Lighthouse is known by its spiraling stripes. It was lit, the current lighthouse was lit in 1870. The original sandstone lighthouse was built in 1803 
and was only 90 feet tall so it had to be replaced and uh, it was destroyed during the Civil War so that's why we have the current lighthouse that you see here. Cape Hatteras Lighthouse is located on the south end of the Outer Banks very close to where you get on the ferry to go to Ocracoke if you stay on 158 which we came into the island on 158 it turns into Highway 12 so you just follow that and then eventually you'll see the signs to Cape Hatteras Lighthouse we're headed to Ocracoke. We decided to take the passenger only ferry, which was $10 a person, but it puts you right out in the town of Ocracoke. The ferry that you drive your vehicle on is free, but it puts you way out of town, like 13 miles out of town. So we decided we would take the passenger one, which puts us out in town, and they have a free trolley that drives you anywhere in town you want to. You can get on and off as many times as you want to. The first thing we did once we got to Ocracoke was um, get on the trolley. The first stop that they take you to is the Ocracoke Lighthouse. It was a very pretty lighthouse. It was closed though, it, you couldn't walk up in it but you could walk out there and see it. And we had some really nice people that took our pictures for us with it. After that, we continued on and um, stopped at a lot of different places in the village. Uh, some of the little museums and things were closed. We didn't get to see those. We went out and sat on the docks and watched the boats go by. And there were some parasailers out there that we got to watch. They say Blackbeard died on this island. We went to the visitor center and we met the little man that we made our reservations through. And he actually knew a man that lives in our town. to walk out to the Roanoke Marshes Lighthouse and the house is so short that you can't see it over the weeds so you got to walk out to it so the lighthouse is just a house with a light on top uh, it's the first one I've ever seen like this but we drove around and around and around and around and around and around trying to get a view of it and uh, so apparently there's no way to get a view unless you walk out there to it Hopefully the boats have a better view of it than, than we do. So there is the infamous lighthouse on Roanoke Marshes. We've been trying like for 30 minutes to get an angle where we can actually see it. It's not so much a lighthouse as it is with a house with a light on the roof. This is all of our most popular donuts, okay? And from here, these are our combos. It's kind of like your old Happy Meals. All the donuts come like this. So this one's called a fan favorite, and originals, and a quacky pack. They look like that. All right. Then, the fun portion of this exam is the back side of this thing. Uh, this is the Build-A-Bear portion, the choose-your-own-adventure, if you will. So these are all of our coatings, all of our toppings, all of our drizzles. What you simply do, you like chocolate, rainbow, hot fudge, is check, check, check. And put the quantity that you want. 
if you see something or you don't see something that you like, just get up in the front, talk to the girls about it. They'll walk you through the whole process. So the man running the place says this is a slow day, so we should have no problem getting service. You order in here, and you wait for your order, and it comes out over there. So I was under the impression you get to stand there and watch them make your donuts, but apparently that's not the case. And so we're still filling out our numbers of how many we want and what kind we want. We have a wonderful boardwalk area all around the community of Duck. So you feel like you're walking on the beach, but you're actually on the on a uh, wooden deck. You can go out there to the boats, and dock. There's an osprey on the nest right there. That's what it looks like from here, anyway. We took a detour off of the boardwalk and we are looking for something specific. And that's what we're looking for. We're back for our second trip to Duck Donuts. The first trip, we're not real sure if we liked it, so we're back again. And we advise y'all uh, at home, don't try this. We're professionals. We've been eating donuts for 60 something years. and. Uh, we know what we're doing, so we'll let you know if they're good or not. Here, watch them make them. Now, plenty of souvenirs to shop from duck donuts caps, duck donut cups, bumper stickers. Got your uh, obligatory bath time ducky, sunglass traps, everything you could, uh, everything you could always want. We have more chocolate for you know who, and we have a blueberry crumble and a peach pie donut. So, again, we are professionals, don't try this at home. Okay, after the 100% equal opportunity and fairness test 
our blind taste test after completion says the peach pie was my favorite with the blueberry crumble running a very close second and Norma Jean then you have the chocolate with marshmallows and sprinkles do the way you want to do it so our motto is no sprinkle left behind we loved our donuts moving on hi friends thank you for joining us on this video if you would if you have not already we need a real big favor not like a kidney or a lung or anything just a real big favor hit that subscribe button right down there that red one right in there and when you hit that you'll see a little bell click on the bell so you get notified of all our future videos and give us a thumbs up we would appreciate it very very much thank you have a great day see you in the next video